I got called into the office and he had me sign a piece of paper for my termination, which I signed under duress. And there was an upper management man hiding behind the door. That's how Bonnie Piasecki says her six-year employment at the Batavia VA came to an end. After months of dealing with a colleague, who she says showed her pictures of his genitals on his phone, Bonnie's supervisor encouraged her and another employee to write up a report. Her write-up of the alleged harasser turned into a hearing she lost. Heartbreaking. Degrading. A hearing where she felt that the man was protected and that the protection was enabled by and known by Royce Calhoun. Dr. Gwendolyn Cole was asked to testify in Bonnie's case and a psychologist suggested she lie in court. This actually happened. The police officer took me outside and I explained to him, I will not lie under oath for anyone. What do you hope happens next? I want the people that work at the VA and put their heart and soul to be all protected. Bonnie called Channel 2 after my report Friday that the VA was investigating allegations of harassment by Associate Medical Director Royce Calhoun. Calhoun, who was promoted to the Buffalo position in 2016, spent most of his 20-year career at the Batavia site, where veteran Yvette Williams also once worked. What made you decide you wanted to speak out about this? I want the VA to be held accountable. Yvette had a supervisor who she says was inappropriate with her and another work leader. She says the colleague did things like pull his pants down or lift his shirt up. Told Royce what was going on and he gave us the impression that he was going to do something about it. But she says Calhoun did not do something about it. When nothing changed, she went back to Calhoun's office three months later. Royce Calhoun told both me and the other work leader that we can't bring down anybody higher than us. Then when we got out into the hallway, we were like, what does that mean? Following the investigation into her allegations, Yvette was fired for computer abuse for logging too many hours on a computer that was in a VA police station she says she didn't even have access to. All I ever heard was, it's the good old boys club. It's never going to change. Now, I want to make sure the stories told in this report are clear. The sexual harassment that the two women described were allegedly by male colleagues, not by Royce Calhoun. They feel, however, that he enabled the behavior by protecting employees who did things like that, and they say they weren't surprised by my report on Friday and that they believe there's a culture of harassment at the Batavia VA. I called their spokesperson this evening for comment, but in fairness, it is Christmas Eve and we have not heard back yet. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.